The capture setup toolbar allows us to define the capture mode and how the memory is used to acquire into triggered buffers. The instrument can have hundreds of acquisition buffers and this is very useful if we see a random event on a data acquisition that we can then stop the acquisition and look back through the uh, buffers and find that particular event and this is a, a very uh, unique feature of this particular product. So looking at the acquisition modes the uh, default one is the uh, scope mode the second one is a persistence mode and this is a dedicated mode to very fast uh, screen updates up to 10,000 waveforms per second and this is very useful for looking for random events on any particular uh, captured data. The third mode is the uh, spectrum mode and here we can see uh, frequency against amplitude. So here for example is a particular uh, component, the uh, 100 kilohertz, it should be of the signal that is being generated in the arbitrary waveform generator. So I'll just put the cursor onto that then we can measure the frequency of that particular component and any of its harmonics. So we go along to the uh, next uh, signal here and we can see that is the uh, third harmonic component. The next menu item is the uh, setup options for the FFT. We can define the number of uh, bins that the data is acquired into and we can change the uh, windows functions and the uh, display mode to um, magnitude average and peak hold and we can change the uh, vertical units and the scale factors to uh, log and linear. I'll return the uh, display for this to the uh, YT mode. The next two icons are the uh, factory default, the home setup mode and then the auto uh, setup. The uh, time based factors are the next icon. The next three icons are to handle the circulating memory because this instrument can have up to one giga sample of memory. Uh, at the moment we have selected uh, each record to be one million samples and then here we can select the number of buffers that the data, it can be hundreds of buffers. In this particular case we've defined a thousand buffers and we've acquired a thousand buffers of a million samples and then we can step through the acquired data and look for any particular event on any particular buffer or there's an icon that can graphically show the buffer so it's very easy to step through all the acquired buffers and look for a particular event. Similarly, similarly we can zoom in so the zoom factor at the moment is one so if I we can increase it to say zoom factor four so here is the whole memory and on the display then is just the zoom and we can pick and drag the zoom factor so we can do it vertically and horizontally so we could look at just one particular edge or we could look at the whole data sequence and when we close the uh, icon it then returns it to the original scale factor. The next uh, little set are the uh, indicators so here we have the pointer and we can select the pointer for selecting any menu item and for example we could select the zoom icon and I could zoom in on any particular pulse and again here we see the overview of the whole memory and again the particular pulse that is being displayed uh, in the main panel. Again there's a special icon which will let us return to the original scale factor but if we change something in the zoom and we want to undo it, there is an undo button re return to the previous uh, setup. Uh, return it to the uh, pointer so we then can point at any particular menu item. Uh, 